said, do you want to start with your own thing and Chris can take over? Okay. Good evening and good afternoon, everybody. Um, we're uh, very happy to be here and we're, we're very much enjoying ourselves in Mumbai. Um, we've just come from a, our round table discussion. This is something that we initiated in 2015 in the Getty Research Institute in Los Angeles. And it was the first time that we encouraged uh, the various communities involved in the use of film from uh, artists, filmmakers, um, stock manufacturers, neg uh, lab owners, um, the Academy for Motion Picture Arts and Sciences, festivals, uh, education, um, to sit around one, museums as well, to sit around one table and to discuss with great concentration um, what, how we could keep film as a medium available for future generations. Um, and this was the first of, of four, this is the first of four, um, the second one was in London, the third one happened in Mexico City without Chris, and then now we're in Mumbai, reframing the future of film four. Yeah, um, we had a very productive uh, meeting this morning with, with a lot of different members of the uh, Indian filmmaking community. And what Tassada and, and I have been trying to do with uh, these uh, meetings where we bring together uh, all the different facets of film production and, and exhibition um, is to really make the case for the place that celluloid film will have uh, in the future in a post-digital world. Uh, and looking at the importance of, of film and celluloid film as a distinct medium, not as a technology that has been replaced by digital imaging, um, but as a creative medium that Tasta as an artist and myself as a narrative filmmaker, uh, that we depend upon. And we've had very productive coming together, uh, a very productive coming together in different filmmaker communities around the world, as Taz has said, starting with uh, Hollywood uh, and then going to Britain uh, and now coming here to uh, the largest film industry in the world uh, and really trying to engage uh, filmmakers uh, in this discussion about how we can maintain and improve uh, and continue to enjoy um, a celluloid photochemical analog infrastructure for, for filmmaking. Um, and the significance really of, of doing this with the Film Heritage Foundation uh, is that this also has a very, very important part to play in preserving for future generations the history of film. Uh, and obviously in this case, uh, the history of Indian film for future generations to be able to experience uh, the way that those filmmakers who made those films originally intended. Uh, by promoting film print screenings, uh, by being able to properly uh, preserve and protect uh, the works of the past and make them available to the audiences of tomorrow. Yeah, uh, thank you, Chris, and thank you, Dasta, for being with us uh, for this wonderful session we had. Uh, for the media, if you're interested, uh, there was... Uh, it was a very great mix. I think for the very first time, we had such wonderful uh, people from different aspects of creativity coming together, whether you had the director Sabisachi Mukherjee or Tasneem Mehta from the museums, or you had Shah Rukh Khan and Mr. Bachchan, or you had the exhibitors from Inox, PVR, uh, even from SP Films from the South, or the, some of the big DOPs, Santosh Sivan, Sudeep Chatterjee, Jaya Bachchan, Anupama Chopra, Siddharth Roy Kapoor. And I think what is very important as a film preservationist and also as a filmmaker, because I sh I've shot everything on celluloid in whatever I've shot with, is that we are fighting a battle 
to save celluloid films in India, where people are disbanding those films, people are not realizing the importance of celluloid. And when you have two such great advocates who are talking about coexistence with digital format, coexistence in projection, coexistence in every aspect as a medium of film, it just strengthens our advocacy for celluloid as a preservation tool. I mean, we shouldn't forget in India, till 2014, we were still shooting on film. I mean, when I shot Celluloid Man, I was so interested that it should be shot with different cameras. So I actually shot on every possible camera which existed, whether it was Super 8, 16, even a 70 Panavision, every possible, and it was it was because I wanted to experiment because I knew that I'm dealing with a history of films. And with the history of films, what is fascinating for me is the transition of different periods which we have gone with formats and, 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 and the change we have seen in terms of celluloid. And I wanted to have all that in one film because I didn't know when will I get a chance to shoot different formats and different films. And I think that challenge to preserve different formats, the different forms of celluloid. I think that's something which is a challenge even now for us because, because people are sort of digitally transferring films in, in a sort of format in India, especially for India, where everything is called HD and we are re disrespecting the aspect ratios. So for me, this dialogue was of utmost importance in projecting film, in shooting in film, and more importantly, for preservation. We have been reading reports everywhere of how many films are being lost or thrown, or I visit go-downs and, you know, you're just seeing a sad way celluloid has been neglected and people have just moved on. So I hope their advocacy will help us to preserve this long history. I mean, till 2014 we were shooting on celluloid. Do you want to throw that away? So let's preserve that. So that's what we were talking about. Yeah. Anything? So do we take questions or we carry on? Yeah. Here, do we take? That's it. Yeah. Yeah.